And let's see if it crosses this solid white line. It shouldn't, but it does. So it shouldn't go through there, but now it does two lane changes over. Hey everyone, Will here from Electric, back again with another video, and we are testing the FSD, FSD version 12.6.4. This is on a Harbor version 3 2018 Model 3. Uh, it might be hard to tell, but we have the steering wheel up here. I'm in drive, destination set, and let's get this party started. So you can see I haven't done any input other than turn the car on, turn the FSD on, and it is just sitting here. We do have a couple uh, vehicles coming from this way, but this is definitely a problem that I've seen with my hardware version 3 versus the hardware version 4 car. It will go out of a spot. So I'm going to tap the accelerator, give it some encouragement, and you can see that it will take off. So Tesla definitely needs to work on that to eliminate that user input. Um, other than turning the FSD on. Full stop there, right turn signal comes, no traffic coming. Now immediately transitioning over into this left-hand lane, left turn signal comes on and left-hand turn lane, successful maneuver there. Now I have been testing this particular version rather extensively recently, and I've noticed that on two lane roads, especially when it's dark out, that the FSD wants to give a huge amount of distance between me and the car in front of it versus when the sun is out. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have also experienced that same thing. I haven't noticed that huge gap in between me and the car it's following on my hardware version four vehicle that we have. It's only taking place on this particular build of the FSD on the hardware version three. Green arrow here, so we should just carry right through, although the car cannot see it, I believe. So slow down right there until the car could see the green arrow. And that is strictly because of this uh, taller vehicle. Now transitioning over into this right-hand turn, right-hand lane. rather slow to get up to the max speed here um, again you know I want to see if I'm in uh, although I can't say hurry yet um, because of the speed limit on this road I would like to see it get up to that maximum speed I have set right now at 42 miles an hour rather like a little bit faster it was almost lagging back there uh, with that other vehicle I'm gonna see if this will complete this maneuver here. So these two lanes are gonna go straight onto the highway, so we need to get over in front of this 18-wheeler so we can get onto the highway. Right turn signal does come on rather quickly, so really uh, good to see how aggressive with lane changes the FSD can be when needed. Obviously the row is splitting and we needed to be in the other lane, so great job by the FSD. Coming on to this on-ramp now, so it should be accelerating up. You can see we're at 55 miles an hour on this highway here. We are in hurry mode. It might be a little bit hard to see on the screen. Left turn signal does come on and it aggressively transitions over and now over once more. Excellent merge by the FSD. Another lane change although maybe unnecessary. And now yet another lane change, although it has reached the maximum speed, we have the max speed set to a certain percentage, and on this particular road, it is 66 miles per hour. So it's almost hanging out in the left-hand lane here, um, although we could have gone over one more lane and it would have been A-OK. -okay. right lane change now. Now this highway is gonna split, so these two left lanes are where we need to be in. The right lane I find is faster most days. So a couple times I've, um, when I was testing it on this road, I've transitioned over into this 
right lane, although we are in hurry. So let's see if this does stay over here in this right-hand turn lane, a right-hand lane rather, not turn lane. So this furthermost right lane is going to go off to the right and this lane, as you can see, the traffic on the left is already starting to slow down. So the FSD made an excellent choice and I don't know if it's learned from me or it's able to determine that there was just less traffic so it ended up over there. But initially it was only going in that left lane and now it is um, coming over into this right hand lane pretty consistently when I am on this stretch of road in some heavier traffic. Transitioning over into this left-hand lane rather quickly as soon as that last stop truck passes. Now we do have another merge going on to another highway here, and typically the FSD is pretty aggressive. Let's see how it does here. I've even, I've even seen it a couple times cross this solid white line. Let's see if it does it again. Left turn signal should be coming on. There it is and then does transition over, and likely one more time, yep. So it looks like we're gonna get a double transition over, and you can feel that acceleration uh, rather quickly up to the maximum speed that is set at 66 miles per hour. Now, no need, in my opinion, for it to get over into this left-hand lane and sit in this left-hand lane because we're going 66, and we could have gone that same speed in this, um, other lane over here. So now we're about to have a car pass us on the right. So not ideal by the FSD, especially in hurry mode. Um, it would have been better off over in this next, uh, next lane over. Now transitioning back over into this left-hand lane to pass the slower car, although we are less than a mile from our right exit. Pretty aggressive here by the FSD. It's likely that it's gonna get over right after we pass this vehicle here. Right turn signal does come on, and now we are behind this EV Hummer. Traffic is slowing down up here, so we need to slow down a bit. Traffic is stopped in this lane now. I'm gonna push the turn signal on to get back over. You can see a lot of vehicles going over that way. And several cars trying to jump into that lane over there. So let's see, because I did take the car out when it's gonna get over and it chooses to get over now. So I would like to see it kind of get up and go here. You can see it's going 40 miles an hour in a 45. Right turn signal does come on, but I'm like, let's go. You can see the speed limit max is set to 66 still. I'm gonna hurry that, or uh, put that down to, I mean, 60 is plenty, but you can see it's just going 38, 39. I mean, this is painfully slow by the FSD. Now we're getting some acceleration here. It's almost like it slowed way too down for that off ramp. We do have a couple lane changes coming up. We need to go through one traffic light and then make a left hand turn. Left turn signal does come on here. No traffic, easy transition over. And now this is a little bit tricky here. So we have to go straight through this light. It is a solid um, white line coming up. We do have an awkwardly parked van here that it is gonna go past. And let's see if it crosses this solid white line. It shouldn't, but it does. So it shouldn't go through there, but now it does two lane changes over because we do need to make a left-hand turn. So legally speaking, that was a solid white line and the FSD shouldn't do that. Now, have I seen uh, vehicles do that before there? Yes, including a police officer before make that same maneuver as the FSD. So 
Um, technically, yes, the FSD, AKA me right now, because we are FSD supervised, could get a tick ticket for that, um, but it is what it is. Green arrow here. It does the accelerate off the line, left turn signal still on, smooth left turn. We do have a lead car, so it's pretty easy for the FSD to go on this correct side of the median here. Left turn signal does come on again. We're gonna be making a left-hand turn here. It's unlikely that we do catch this um, green arrow, but we'll see what happens. So it looks like oncoming traffic is coming, so we should get a yield here in a second. We do have a yield now. There is a tight gap here. It's not gonna take it, thankfully. And then we have a big gap after this black car. It needs to go around this median coming up, which it does. Excellent left turn by the FSD. Do have a speed bump here. We're going 16 miles an hour now, going down to Woohoo, eight miles an hour to go over the speed bump. Excellent job by the FSD. Smooth left turn. Now we should have a right turn coming up here to go to our destination spot. Right turn signal does come on. Smooth right turn. And we are in the parking lot. Excellent, excellent job. It looks like it's gonna park, ish. Just an awful. <laughs> All right, so it says we're here. We're gonna end the test there. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with a friend that really helps uh, grow my channel so I can put out more content like this. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.